The Rise of the Nicaraguan Cigar The Rise of the Nicaraguan Cigar By the time Spanish conquistadors arrived in Nicaragua in 1519, the local natives had already been cultivating tobacco for ages. In the late 1950s and into the 60s, many Cuban cigar families who fled from the Castro regime began searching for new soil that could successfully grow premium tobacco like in Cuba. Fleeing Cuban cigar families sought after soil that was comparable to the lush Pinar del Rio region of Cuba. Anastasio Somoza, the Nicaraguan dictator of the time, decided to finance the many Cubans' families who arrived to plant the seeds to build the new cigar industry within Nicaragua. In 1963, under a program called the Habano Tobacco Program, the first plantings of Cuban seed began in the town of Jalapa. Among those in the program included Cuban expats Angel Oliva, Sixto Placencia, and Generoso Eroya. After a failed first attempt with an inaugural cigar company called the Central American Corporation of Tobacco, a second company was established in Condega called Nicaragua Cigars, which was associated with tobacco that was being grown by Jose Orlando Padron. Like many others, Simon Camacho and Juan Francisco Bermejo fled their native Cuba and sought opportunity in nearby Nicaragua. In partnering with dictator Somoza, who had personal investments in multiple tobacco projects, they gained access to the deep and rich soil in the regions of Esteli, Condega and Jalapa for tobacco, and established facilities in central Esteli where it could all be processed. Today the company is known as Joya de Nicaragua. In 1979, a civil war and resultant Sandinista uprising destroyed much of the Nicaraguan tobacco industry, including the factories of Joya de Nicaragua and Arturo Fuente, which was established by Carlos Fuente Sr. For much of the 1980s, civil war and political turmoil largely hampered the Nicaraguan tobacco industry. Wages fell while subpar quality cigars piled up until the embargo was lifted by the U.S., and a new government finally replaced the Sandinistas in 1990s. Ultimately, this setback was also overcome, and the resilient Nicaraguan cigar industry became poised to grow and finally witness its true potential. The weather in Nicaragua and the mineral content to its soil are very similar to Cuba, which makes it ideal for tobacco growing. The cultivation of tobacco leaf in Nicaragua takes place in four main areas, Esteli, Condega, Jalapa, and to a lesser extent, Ometepe, which is an island in Lake Nicaragua. Nicaraguan tobacco has a reputation for being very strong and spicy. Each region produces both Cuban and Connecticut seed tobaccos that exhibit their own unique characteristics. The Jalapa Valley is located near neighboring country of Honduras and produces a spicy, highly aromatic leaf that is ideal to be applied as a wrapper. Ometepe is a volcanic island that produces a sweet wrapper that exhibits lots of chocolate and pepper. Successful tobacco cultivation there was first initiated by Nestor Placencia in 1996. Thanks for watching.